So, here, uh, to begin with, let's just go here actually, because the first part, if you remember, we looked at um, ways to break in the piao and the piao in Bacicu, yeah? We can do them during or instead of those moves. What do I mean? So have a look here, the regular piao. That, 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 continue basic step. Here on the last step of the spin, five, six, seven. I'm gonna prevent my weight transfer by putting pressure on my toe here, my right leg, and come back, back to the basic. One, two, three. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Time back to one, two, three, five, six, seven. But anytime I'm turning back with, um, I don't turn back with my right leg. Obviously, in the piano, my right leg stays here in the center. But any time that I'm opening here five or seven, I can make this break. So how about this here? Five, six, seven, one, two, three, lock and go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three. So very, very important leaders. We need to prepare our body just like we're doing the piao, but we don't commit our weight here and follow through on the spin. We push the ground to prevent the weight transfer. We will feel that the block comes from the embrace, the body, and the leg here. Have a look. The follow will come across the side. Here, the foot, the leg, and we also have contact on the body. And most importantly, I'm holding the partner here, not just sending them here to the side. Keep close, block. Remembering you're, you're blocking a spin, you're not trying to block uh, a walk or, or anything for the follower, so don't uh, start sending them that way, bringing them to you, but not following through on the turn. For this reason, you don't use your arms to create the movement for the follower. You use this, your torsion, your range between your lower body, which stays facing this direction, and your upper body open, so we feel in our sides this uh, twist, okay? Don't overdo it. Twist. Support here, transfer back, and back to the base. One, two, three. Next, we looked at uh, how we can do the piano in the cheek. We just reminded ourselves that this step here, sorry, we're just grabbing into the light. It's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> here. This now is going to be the center. So we have to be really close and really frontal with each other so that we can move our mass around the center. If we're dancing like this, it's gonna be very difficult because now this leg is the center and all the rest of our body is over on this side and we have to move it all around the center. It's a different shape than the normal piano. So when I do an open preparation, now what I try to do is kind of tuck the follower in very close my left shoulder. And that's gonna make the whole uh, spin smaller and easier. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three. So this is a really important tip. For the piano in Pachidon in general. Okay? Now we're going to combine with heart to heart to make the break. Five, six, seven. So here we do like a contra base, but instead of opening out, this is also possible to make the break, for example, but instead of opening out, I keep my arms close to me but slide them across my front, knowing that it's possible for the follower to move through, the, through a line here, side to side, but it's difficult now for the follower to take the weight on the back leg. So what we normally do with this one, slide, we offer some support with the embrace with the arm, and it comes back this way to resolve, back to the basic step. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Come back and return to basic step. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Turn. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And time. One, two, three. Just like the other one, we can also do it instead of starting to spin, we can do it immediately here. Time five. So 
So that's really useful because for musicality, for breaks, we might want to have something ready in different times, depending on when the break is going to fall, to be more ready. So, bum, 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 dak, dak, and ball. And you can wait for the music to uh, come back in. Step on the strong, one, two, three, five, six, seven. This is a useful break because breaks often start on um, like the last beat of the break. Going into the break is on the strong, and the first beat coming back from the break is on the strong as well. So if we're going quick, quick, strong, 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 quick, quick, strong. This is a really nice way to uh, enter and exit breaks. But just to show the same as the others, it's also possible to dash, 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 and five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three. Five, six, seven. The continuous time like this as well, okay? Um, combining both directions. This is nice because we get um, to contrast the two different directions. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. And one, two, three. Five, six, seven. Not even at the end of the... Yes. I think we'll do